Think of ELB as a traffic cop directing cars at an intersection. The traffic cop directs cars to different roads based on their destination. ELB works at both Layer 4, TCP, and 7, HTTP, and can distribute incoming requests to a number of targets, which can be either EC2 instances or Docker containers. ALB is like a GPS system in a car that provides more advanced routing options. ALB only works at Layer 7, HTTP, and has a wide range of routing rules for incoming requests based on host name, path, query string parameter, HTTP method, HTTP headers, source IP, or port number. NLB is like a highway toll booth that manages the flow of cars onto the highway. NLB operates at Layer 4 load balancing both TCP and UDP traffic. It supports AWS Private Link and provides a static IP per availability zone that can be used by applications as the load balancer front-end IP. I hope this analogy helps you understand the differences between ELB, ALB, and NLB. All right, that's it in a nutshell. Let's get into more detail. Let's start by discussing the similarities between these load balancers. All three load balancers are designed to distribute incoming traffic to multiple instances in your Amazon Web Services environment. They're also highly available, meaning that if one instance fails, the load balancer will automatically route traffic to other instances. Additionally, all three load balancers can handle SSL TLS encryption and provide a way to add or remove instances from the load balancer without any downtime. Now let's take a closer look at each of the load balancers and their differences. The first one is the Application Load Balancer, or ALB. As the name suggests, this load balancer is specifically designed to handle HTTP HTTPS traffic at the application layer. ALBs are highly scalable and can handle millions of requests per second. They also provide advanced routing capabilities, such as routing based on the content of the request, which makes them a great choice for applications that require complex routing rules. The second load balancer is the Network Load Balancer, or NLB. Unlike ALBs, NLBs operate at the transport layer, meaning they can handle TCP, UDP, and TLS traffic. This makes them a great choice for applications that require low latency and high throughput, such as gaming and streaming applications. NLBs also support static IP addresses, which makes them a great choice for applications that require a fixed IP address. The third load balancer is the Classic Load Balancer, or ELB. LBs are the oldest type of load balancer in AWS and are now deprecated in favor of ALBs and NLBs. However, they are still used in some legacy applications. ELBs operate at both the application and transport layers and support both HTTP and HTTPS traffic. They provide basic routing capabilities and can handle basic health checks. In terms of use cases, ALBs are great for web applications that require complex routing rules, such as microservices-based architectures. NLBs are great for applications that require low latency and high throughput, such as gaming and streaming applications. ELBs are still used in some legacy applications that require basic load balancing capabilities. In conclusion, AWS offers three different types of load balancers the Application Load Balancer, ALB, the Network Load Balancer, NLB, and the Classic Load Balancer, ELB. While all three load balancers are designed to distribute incoming traffic to multiple instances, they differ in terms of their capabilities and use cases. ALBs are great for web applications that require complex routing rules. NLBs are great for applications that require low latency and high throughput, and ELBs are still used in some legacy applications. All right, I hope that clears it up for you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.